All right, so we are back with more Army of Ruin. It should be interesting to see. Uh, hold on a second. <coughs> Actually, no, nah, yeah, that's fine. Uh, so we did get charms. That should be interesting. Um... So I need to get Blaze to level 5. It is a red one, if I remember right. The reds are, yeah. Evos. <coughs> we also got Bosk. In the last run as well. It's 30 minutes on graveyard. So, Ogle, level 30. This should be entertaining, and we'll see how the heck it goes. only issue right now is I'm not really getting much in the way of XP. <clears throat> I could take volcanic orbs. Hmm. So I guess every extra one after the first one gives bonus to these stats. <coughs> At least if I remember how it was worded. I'll take shackles, because my main thing is kind of based on uh, enemies being slow, because if they're too quick, I'm not really going to be able to hit them. Well, treading could be of use. Uh, I'll take shackles again. I have to be very, very careful on what I pick. Yeah, size and extra damage. We can hopefully start hitting way, way more. At a slightly better distance. <coughs> uh, so I'll take another size increase. Come on. Thank you! I, all I needed was the damn box. Okay, better cool down now. Pistols might not be that bad of an idea.
Either way though, I need to get up to the uh, special boss. But I also gotta be careful because if I overbook it, I'm not gonna be collecting XP and that could be way, way worse. Keep running! That's all I can do. Just keep running! <laughs> Like being able to freeze enemies is gonna help. If I can get the thing that also sets enemies on fire, that could be really, really helpful. For clearing out some junk. But we'll kind of see what shows up. This enemy's on fire every 30 seconds. Yes, please. Because now at least two of my trinkets are working for me. <clears throat> like, what the hell do I need? Uh, a sun and another leaf. Okay. Looks like that shouldn't be that bad. It's more like I have to head up. Got this boss at the moment. I wonder who has a good enough, like, active that makes the war drums, like, totally worth grabbing and just going, like, mass skill cooldown. Because there has to be someone where it's, like, that setup would just be broken. Yeah, my guess is I probably just haven't found the hero that it'd be really good on yet, so... <clears throat> I should be able to do this without evoing... Or leveling any of my trinkets. I just need the evil weapons at this point. And killing him will allow me to evil my first. Yes. <clears throat> Wait. No, because I don't have two green. Ah. <clears throat> I 
I'm very, very interested on how the hell these terms work. Because it looks like they could make or break builds. Look, it's essentially this game's version of min-maxing. Shackles to four. Not really needed, but I guess I can happily take it. I guess I can take block. Try to increase my chances of getting a fourth option. <coughs> Because that's about all it's going to be good for. Because I can't think if X, the uh, Scholar's Scroll, is Sun or Leaf. I want to say it's Sun. Infusion. I get the pick. <clears throat> Wait, so elemental overload. Oh, shit. Interesting. Get XP increase. <clears throat> or do I take a 15% damage penalty to make my tax bigger? And no, I'll actually take attack rate. For a 15% reduction. Because that seems like it should be more beneficial. Okay, so that is wind, and I don't need wind. I do need earth. So I could take... A, yeah, I'll take attack size. Take the magnifier. Okay, so my final build is set up. It's just one, I need to survive. And then two, I need to level my weapons. <clears throat> so I can evo them. Like as soon as I can evo the fang, like life is gonna get a wee bit easier. It's just trying to kill the damn boss. And right now, I'm poisoning and setting things on fire, so I'm just stacking on dots. <clears throat> and it seems like the dots even continue if they freeze. Hmm. 
which is fantastic. Yeah, I should be able to clear this level, it's just... Do I need to complete it? No, I just need to reach level 30, okay. <clears throat> that actually makes this even easier to pull off then. Because I don't actually have to win. Then it's just a matter of surviving. I like the fact that the volcanic ones actually, like, move outward as it's going on. Wait, so you get multiple charms. Interesting. That means you can tailor make your character, your build <clears throat> for a moment. Does it keep track? Okay, so it does. Is there any way of seeing? So I have 130% luck. I have 5% increase to damage. Plus 75% decides. Jesus. <clears throat> okay, that would explain why uh, Dire Fang like, is such a huge freaking area. I need enemies not moving. I need enemies just dropping. Because if they're not moving, then I don't have to worry about them hurting me. <coughs> That's kind of the plan. Poisoner. I think I need luck any further, but <clears throat> I'm still just going to try to have four options as often as possible.
Eve 14. Fire for bigger radius of my attacks. Awesome. Because right now, the more enemies I can hit, the better. <clears throat> Past 30, so it doesn't really matter if I win or lose at this point. I'm getting the final thing for this stage. <clears throat> Either way. If anyone is interested, <coughs> by the way, I have uh, gotten back into Vampire Survivors uh, on Twitch because I'm starting fresh, and I'll be on <coughs> hmm, sorry. Uh, Day of this recording, at least, I'll be on day four. When you guys see this, though, I'll be on day five. <laughs> and with Rogue Genesis' newest update, I'm... Probably gonna actually try that <clears throat> on uh, here as well. Although I don't know how well it's gonna be working, but we'll see. Because the game did add like profile states, which does allow me to have a Twitch and YouTube playthrough going at different times. Well, at the same time. Instead of having to like fully delete my save, like Vampire Survivors currently forces. Freeze everything more often, man. Freeze everything more often. <clears throat> okay, so those two things are done. Minions get stronger. Yeah, that's fine. Not too, too concerned. This is taking a wee bit longer than what I would like, though, to defeat the boss. I'm 
But at the same time, I have no way of just, like, singling the boss out either, so... Like, guaranteed, all I need to do, though, is at least live. As long as I just continue to survive, like, the boss will eventually die because of the burning. And the occasional hits that do actually hit it. So... <clears throat> Pick up one charm? I mean, 21 stars? An opal. <clears throat> Hourglass. So, attack duration and lock. Okay. Uh, finesse. Increased attack damage, but at reduced size. And then there's growth, which is attack size, but reduction in speed. God, this is taking, like, I was not expecting this game to, like, take as long as it has been. I kind of want to just level up. Actually, no, I should probably save up and get the extra trinket slot. Because what I do is going to make getting my uh, weapon evos a wee bit better. Anyways, guys, I will see you in the next episode. And until then, bye-bye for now.